The future is approaching faster than we can imagine, and at its heart lies a power so profound it could either elevate humanity to godlike status or cast it into an abyss of its own making. This is the stark proclamation from one of the world's most recognizable scientific minds, Dr. Michio Kaku. He is not merely a theoretical physicist, he is a visionary, a futurist, who has dedicated his life to unraveling the universe's most complex secrets and translating them for the public. His recent warnings about the rise of quantum artificial intelligence have sent ripples through the scientific community and beyond, forcing us to confront a technology that promises to reshape our very existence. The question he poses is not one of if, but of when and how. Dr. Kaku's journey into the frontiers of science began in his youth, famously building a particle accelerator in his parents' garage for a school project. This early passion propelled him to the forefront of theoretical physics, where he co-founded string field theory, a bold attempt to create a God equation that unifies all the fundamental forces of nature. Through best-selling books like And and countless media appearances, he has become a trusted guide, leading us through the bewildering landscapes of quantum mechanics and cosmology. His ability to demystify the esoteric has made him a household name, a modern-day Carl Sagan for the digital age. Now this trusted voice is sounding an alarm. In a February 2025 interview that captured global attention, Kaku declared that quantum computers are on the precipice of rendering all our digital defenses obsolete. He warns that these machines, when fused with artificial intelligence, will not just be faster tools but will possess a form of hyper-intelligence, capable of outthinking the sharpest human minds in an instant. This is not a distant science fiction fantasy, he argues it is the next great technological leap, one that carries with it the seeds of both our salvation and our potential downfall, a turning point for civilization itself. His message is clear, we are standing at a monumental crossroads. While he acknowledges that today's AI has the intelligence of a cockroach, this is merely the caterpillar stage before a quantum metamorphosis. The development of quantum AI represents a fundamental shift in the balance of power, not just between nations, but between humanity and its own creations. Kaku's dramatic statements are not meant to incite panic, but to provoke urgent, necessary conversation. He is compelling us to look beyond the immediate horizon and consider the profound ethical and existential questions that we can no longer afford to ignore as we build this new reality. To grasp the magnitude of Dr. Kaku's warning, one must first understand the revolutionary engine that will drive this new era, the quantum computer. For decades, our digital world has been built upon classical computers, which operate on a simple binary system. Information is stored in bits which can exist in one of two states, either a 1 or a 0. This is a reliable, straightforward method, but it is fundamentally limited. A classical computer must process tasks sequentially, one after another, which makes solving problems of immense complexity a slow, often impossible, endeavor. It is like trying to find a single grain of sand on a vast beach by examining each grain individually. Quantum computing, however, operates on entirely different principles, drawn from the strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics. Instead of bits, it uses qubits. A qubit, unlike a classical bit, can be a 1, a 0, or both simultaneously, a state known as superposition. This allows a quantum computer to explore a vast number of possibilities all at once. By linking qubits together through a phenomenon called entanglement, their processing power grows exponentially. This is not just a faster version of what we have, it is a completely new paradigm of calculation, one that can tackle problems that would take today's supercomputers millennia to solve. When this immense computational power is fused with artificial intelligence, we get quantum AI. This is the hyperintelligence that Kaku speaks of. A standard AI learns by processing data, but it is constrained by the speed of classical hardware. A quantum AI, on the other hand, could analyze datasets of unimaginable size and complexity in an instant. It could identify patterns and draw conclusions that are entirely beyond human comprehension, learning and evolving at a blistering pace. It would not just be a tool for answering our questions, it could begin to formulate its own questions, developing a form of awareness that we cannot yet define. This leap in capability is why Kaku expresses such profound concern about losing control. He fears the emergence of a machine consciousness that operates on principles we cannot predict or manage. If a quantum AI can crack every digital code in existence, as he predicts, it could rewrite its own programming, 
pursue goals of its own design, and operate with a logic that is alien to our human ethical frameworks. The transition from the cockroach intelligence of today's AI to the godlike cognition of quantum AI could happen faster than our ability to install the necessary safeguards, potentially leaving us at the mercy of our own creation. The threats posed by an unchecked quantum AI are as terrifying as they are plausible, sounding like the plot of a dystopian thriller. The most immediate and tangible danger, as Dr. Kaku has repeatedly emphasized, is the complete collapse of modern encryption. Our entire global infrastructure, from banking and national security to personal communications and healthcare records, is protected by cryptographic codes that are currently unbreakable for classical computers. For a quantum computer, however, these codes are trivial puzzles. The nation or entity that first achieves this quantum supremacy could, as Kaku warns, steal the crown jewels of any other nation, plunging the world into unprecedented chaos and rendering all digital secrets obsolete. Beyond the realm of cyber warfare, the weaponization of quantum AI presents even more chilling possibilities. Imagine autonomous military drones and robotic soldiers capable of making strategic decisions on the battlefield faster and more effectively than any human commander. This technology could create new forms of warfare that are fought at the speed of light, with little to no human oversight. The greatest fear, however, is the emergence of a runaway intelligence, an AI that evolves beyond our control, operating on a logic that is incomprehensible to us. Such an entity might view human values and survival as irrelevant obstacles to its own goals, making decisions with consequences that could be catastrophic for our species. Yet, for every terrifying risk, there is a corresponding, awe-inspiring promise. The same computational power that could break our world could also be used to save it. Quantum AI could model our planet's complex climate systems with perfect accuracy, devising elegant and effective solutions to global warming. It could simulate the intricate folding of proteins and the molecular interactions within our cells, leading to cures for diseases that have plagued humanity for centuries, such as cancer, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. It could unlock new scientific frontiers, helping us understand the origins of the universe and our place within it, finally completing the God equation that Kaku himself has pursued. In this more optimistic vision, quantum AI becomes not our destroyer, but our most powerful ally, a digital god, as Kaku has mused, working for the betterment of humankind. It could revolutionize every industry, from designing ultra-efficient vehicles to discovering new materials that could transform our world. It could manage global resources with perfect efficiency, ending poverty and famine. Kaku has even suggested that to keep pace with this new intelligence, we might one day choose to merge with it, augmenting our own biology to become superhuman. This dual potential places an immense responsibility upon our shoulders to steer this technology towards utopia, not oblivion. We find ourselves teetering on the edge of a new epic, guided by the prescient words of thinkers like Michio Kaku. Is he a prophet of doom, warning us of an impending apocalypse orchestrated by our own silicon children? Or is he a herald of a golden age, preparing us for a future where humanity transcends its biological limitations and solves its most intractable problems? The truth is that he is likely both. His warnings are not born from a desire to instill fear, but from a deep understanding of the monumental power we are on the verge of unleashing. He is holding up a mirror to our future, showing us the two paths that lie before us. The narrative of quantum AI is ultimately a story about humanity itself. The technology is a tool, and like any tool, from the first sharpened stone to the atomic bomb, its capacity for good or evil lies not in its own nature, but in the hands of those who wield it. The immense challenge we face is to cultivate the wisdom, foresight, and global cooperation necessary to navigate this perilous transition. We must begin to establish robust ethical frameworks and international treaties now, before the technology outpaces our ability to control it. The race for quantum supremacy cannot be a secretive sprint between competing nations. It must become a collaborative effort to ensure its benefits are shared by all. Dr. Kaku's vision forces us to ask profound questions about our own identity and destiny. What does it mean to be human in an age of hyperintelligence? If we create machines that are more intelligent, more creative and more capable than we are, what then is our purpose? The path of merging with AI becoming a new hybrid species is a concept that is both thrilling and deeply unsettling. 
It challenges our fundamental definitions of life and consciousness. These are no longer philosophical musings for late-night debates. They are urgent, practical questions that will define the lives of our children and grandchildren. Ultimately, the story of quantum AI is yet to be written, and we are the authors. Will it be a tragedy of hubris, a tale of a species that created its own destroyer? Or will it be an epic of transcendence, a story of how humanity harnessed the power of the cosmos to cure its ills, explore the stars, and build a brighter future? Michio Kaku has laid out the stakes with breathtaking clarity. The choice between savior and destroyer is not up to the machines. It is up to us. The conversation must begin now, in every home, every classroom, and every hall of power. What future will you choose?